everybody welcome back to my channel I hope you had a great weekend today we are going to be talking about building a dressy wardrobe or to put it another way we're going to build a wardrobe that is going to take us to almost any mm, formal event now it's not gonna be black tie but definitely a nice cocktail party or a very good dinner party or uh, maybe a semi-formal event. So if you're interested in learning more, please stick around. Okay, let's go ahead and get right into things. First up on the list that you're going to need is a little black dress. Now, this dress is not the same dress that we were talking about in our casual living um, video. This one is going to be a little bit more sophisticated. The fabric on it is going to be a little bit softer, maybe not quite as much stretch. You are going to be able to get something with a little bit of embellishments up in the neckline. Um, you could do sleeveless, you could do three-quarter sleeves. I would say something flowy and soft so that you can take it from event to event. Uh, lengthwise, I would say let's stick with uh, maybe about an inch above the knee. Nothing shorter than that, because I don't want to say it runs into being inappropriate, but we're trying to keep this elegant and sophisticated. So I would say about knee length to an inch above the knee. Second on the list is going to be a dressy outerwear jacket. Now, the reason I say that you're going to need a dressy outerwear jacket is who does not want to be getting out of a very fabulous, freshly washed car with this beautiful coat? Then underneath it is this even more beautiful dress. The jacket is going to set the tone for your evening. Um, you don't necessarily want to have this jacket be worn. And when I mean worn, I mean like patches and holes and it's kind of scruffy looking. You're going to want a good coat, something that's going to last you through the seasons. So make this an investment piece. Um, you're going to definitely want to carry this with you from event to event. And again, from season to season, you don't want to get one that is very trendy and then you have to replace it in the next year. Third item on the list is going to be an evening clutch. Now we discussed this in our purse wardrobe. But let's go a little bit more into depth. This dressy clutch is going to be big enough again to put your phone in, maybe your house keys, lipstick, and a compact. Sounds like a lot, and considering the fact that I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 4, I need a lot of space. Some people don't have big, big phones like I do. Yay. <laughs> Unfortunately, my phone is big. Um, but you want this clutch to be to be able to, to be versatile. Let's put it that way. You want this clutch to be versatile. You want it to go again from evening to evening, from event to event. If you want to keep it in the neutral, that is perfectly fine. You want a nice black, uh, a dark navy blue, white. Um, if you're more bold, get a colored one. Get one that's red or purple. I have several of different colored ones. I also have very neutral ones. Um, as you're building the wardrobe though, I would say stick with something neutral, something in the black or again a navy blue, so that way as your wardrobe expands, you can use this clutch in different situations until you're able to get the clutches that you really like that will go with some of these outfits that you plan on adding into your wardrobe. Next on the list, we're going to get a wrap. or otherwise known as a shawl. Something lightweight so that once you take off the jacket or if it's a nice summer evening, you can just leave it on your shoulders. Because let's be real, when you go to these formal events, the temperature is usually 55 degrees because guys are in suits and they're sweating and the temperature is meant to make them feel comfortable, not you. So a nice wrap or shawl will keep you warm in these kind of cooler um, environments, especially if you've got something sleeveless or strapless. Um, you're going to have this shawl to kind of keep you warm, keep your temperature mm, kind of steady, and just look pretty with your dress that you've got. So definitely a nice shawl. Uh, I have mine in black and gold and teal. 
But I would say in the beginning, stick with the black so that, again, it's versatile and you can take it with you to different events and different situations. Last on the list is going to be a pair of dressy shoes. Now, I would say keep with a nice black. Navy blue can sometimes be kind of hard to match, and if you do glitter, you run the risk of either one, it being trendy, or two, it can be garish in the situations. Because sometimes these glitter shoes that have the sequins and stuff, they can kind of look like stripper shoes. Let's be real, I have two pairs. I admit, they do kind of look like stripper shoes. So I would say definitely keep the shoes in a nice neutral color and a nice neutral uh, material. Not necessarily leather, but maybe something satin, um, something kind of soft to go with this nice, soft, flowy dress that you've gotten. Heel height, keep it between two and three inches. Uh, anything less and we kind of run the risk of it looking a little bit casual and then you may end up having to get glitter shoes so that it looks dressy. Anything taller and your feet can kind of hurt. Um, especially if you want to keep these shoes on for the whole night and you want to dance the night away and you're getting five inch heels, you, we can kind of run into some problems and the shoes can start to hurt a little bit. So I would say a nice heel height can range anywhere from like two to at the most four inches. If you want to get a platform uh, I would say keep the platform maybe at two inches. That gives you some height. It also gives you a little bit of cushion with the heel height, but anything taller than that, and again, we run into the risk of it either being trendy or it looking a little garish. So I would definitely keep the shoes in a nice neutral color, uh, black, and yeah, pretty much black, because again, like I said before, the navy blue, it's gonna be too hard to match. White, it's not hard to match, and there's no rules that you can't wear white, but again, it depends on the outfit. And if you're pairing it with a little black dress, you want it to be consistent. So I would definitely say keep with the neutrals in the shoes. All right, I would say that that's pretty much it to building a nice dressy wardrobe. If you feel that I've missed anything, please do not hesitate to let me know. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment box below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I, please do not forget to rate and subscribe, and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye!